I mean, you're talking about GA paparazzi and hiding in, <laughs> hiding tripods in people's gardens, and you've tried to drag me into the glamour mags over the years and to speculate about private lives, and it's been a failure until now. You're right, poor old Shakira, who's short of a couple of bob, has been made to pay her tax, and a tax account came out of the court saying, well, this whole thing with peakish, it would have been far cheaper for her to fall in love with Sergio Ramos. So the whole Sergio Ramos PK thing goes on and on and on, and they, they were phenomenal playing partners for Spain, and you'd be hard pressed to pick which was the better footballer, the better leader, but people underestimate, I think, vast, this was a part of the subject um, when I interviewed Sergio um, on Thursday or Friday, whatever it was. You get to watch him in training with Spain and watch not only how he trains, but the, the, the fun they have afterwards when the coach says, right, session is over, and they conjure up all kinds of skill tests for one another. Sergio Ramos, throughout that year where Spain won everything repeatedly, was as technically talented as anybody in that side off both feet. It was absolutely extraordinary. He's underestimated, massively underestimated, because he could run fast, jump high, he was a leader, he was iconic. He, he produced goals in, in big moments, but the best goal of his career being the one in the 2014 Champions League final, when there's no time left, and, yet, and there's no chance of hitting past Courtois. Yeah, he does. He finds the ball-sized shy shape in Atleti's goal to make it 1-1, and they got Real Madrid going and winning extra time. His skill... His technical ability has always been vastly ignored.